Well, I wanted to uh, make a little video here. I've been asked a few questions about this, how it works, so I thought I would explain on this old John Deere combine how this spring assist works. As you can see, there's no pressure on the head, so the springs have pulled that shaft, or the far end here, back, which shaft which opens this up. Now when you put the head on and you get those springs set right in there, uh, it will, this should be roughly about right here. And what that'll do is allow that head to float up and down uh, independently. And like I say, with the floating cutter bar on that particular head if you set those springs right it's like an automatic header control uh, it'll go up and down about a foot and which is a great help uh, you can set it and go you still got to keep your eye on it but it's not uh, like running a straight head to keep it out of the dirt uh, it really works good and I love it but the old girl's getting ready to be put in the barn but I thought I would make a video and kind of show and explain how that system works and it's very very simple uh, get the correct spring tension put on it and the, you can make a straight head with a skid plate like the old 4400's got on it over there uh, it makes it oh like an automatic header control for it and it works great uh, if you didn't have robot you didn't have floating cutter bar uh, the spring assist here with a with a head with a skid plate uh, was better than nothing uh, they work good, uh, but you had, you know, you still had to watch everything close. But with this spring assist, with that floating cutter bar head, they work together, and it's it's a great system. Uh, you can't ask for much much more out of an old machine than that. I mean, it's pretty simple <laughs> and it keeps you it'll keep you out of trouble but at any rate the head's taken off I had to take snouts off and my poor head is mm -hmm, rough uh, as you can kind of see down here the end of the head is bowed uh, look down it. You can see this end how it's bowed up. And there's nothing I can do to fix that. That's from catching that snout and tearing it off and it just really did a number on this thing. So I might just have to look for another head. Like it or not. And that shock in here stabilizer it was part of my problem this year uh, that rascal right down in there broke the pin out where that's bolted and that let that head just shake all over the place so I had to get that fixed this is the a generation one floating cutter bar heart carter this is the old style skid plates here and generation two skid plates uh, oh that's lovely that broke out back there but I think I'm going to have to find me a new head um, this one you can only patch and weld so much you got rust holes and unfortunately I found when I was last little bit 
the where that hub bolts to the auger in there uh, that flat plate it's breaking out around it so <laughs> pretty well sure it's shot and I patched it there I uh, patched it there several years ago before I had a MIG welder but it is what it is it served me well I bought this head in 1988 and I've used it quite a few years but I think she's time for a new head for this old girl <laughs> Kind of a wide one now with them 23 ones on it, but ain't nothing I'm gonna do about change about that. But like I said, I just wanted to show that spring assist and how good it works with the uh, floating cutter bar. So if you like or have any questions, please comment, rate, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.